All right, so it's no surprise to many, like myself, that if you look at some of the photos coming from even the mainstream media of this migrant caravan headed up through Mexico to the U.S. border right now, most of these people are men. Most of them are men. I'd say about 80%. Now, of course, you do have some women and children in there. But I mean, look at these photos, mostly men. Mostly men. You don't even have to look. I mean, it's right there. It's right there on your face. Mostly men. Mostly men. This is an invasion. These are men waving their country's flag, coming in droves of thousands and thousands of people, burning the U.S. flag, by the way, in some cases, as seen here. Wonderful. Oh, wonderful. And drawing a swastika on the flag. Yeah, these are the exact type of people you want in your country, right? Meanwhile, the mainstream media is trying to claim that these are refugee seekers when we have, really, you could read any mainstream alternative article about this migrant caravan, it doesn't matter, and you have most of them saying they're seeking better jobs. I mean, just read any article with any interview with any of these migrants. You know, they, they all say, my goal is to find better work and a better future, leaving to escape unemployment and crime. Neither qualifies as refugee or asylum seeker status. So if you're fleeing a crime-ridden area like Chicago, for instance, you can't go to Mexico and say, oh, I'm a refugee. Although this is the case, the mainstream media will go on and on about how these are Asylum-seeking refugees. Even though they admit in their own articles that no, these are just people looking for better work. And that's the problem with mass immigration. Uh, Not only does it destroy the culture of the, the nation and totally, totally eradicate any sense of national identity because most of these migrants don't assimilate into the culture, admittedly, Even second generation down in many cases won't assimilate into the culture because they form their own ghettos and their own communities and they just live amongst one another. But not only that, it's bad for the average American worker. You know, you have Central Americans that will come and work for a much lower uh, wage and the corporations love this. That's why the neoconservatives love mass immigration. That's why the Democrats love mass immigration. Because these are your corporate paid, uh, bought and paid for politicians that are for immigration. They don't care if the migrants are burning the American flag. They don't care if the migrants are all military aged men. And there's thousands of them as if it were an invasion without guns. They don't care if most of these men are waving their home country flag instead of the American flag. They don't care. They're in it for the money. And they also don't care that even the mainstream media and leftist activists and SJWs will be the first to admit that within these caravans, there's a lot of violence and rape and crime. Yeah, but we're not bringing that into the United States though. But yeah, there's a lot of crime in the caravans and we have to make sure that you know the women aren't getting raped by all those men. But that doesn't happen at the same time. Yeah, let's hold two contradictory points in our mind. I think that's called cognitive dissonance. Yeah, I think that's what that's called. And look, like I said in my previous video, we're supposed to believe that this isn't being orchestrated that we're supposed to believe that this is organic and that this is grass roots when you have videos like this of organizers handing out cash to some of these migrants right here he's handing out cash women and children first yeah look at all that money i i mean I mean, that just looks shady to me. I mean, I don't know what is going on here. It just looks shady to me. It looks like this is organized and that's being funded by a higher power. 
And I don't mean a spiritual higher power when I say higher power. Also, interesting to note, there's photos of some of these guys wearing, like, socialist sort of cultural Marxist t-shirts. Like, the future is female. I just, I just, you know, I just don't see guys from Honduras wearing a shirt like that. I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> really? I thought Honduras was crime-ridden. Like, you get bullied or even killed wearing a shirt like that in Honduras if it's that bad. I would imagine. If it's anything like the Middle East. So... It's just weird. It doesn't make any sense to me. And it points toward that some of these people are, are actually, what I suspect has been rumors of this, that a lot of them are actually just uh, Americans that um, are organizing this, you know, uh, affiliated with NGOs. Uh, and many of them are of Honduran descent, you know, um, but they're, you know, American citizens even, some of them that are organizing these migrants and in you know, corralling these people and bringing them up into the United States just in time for the midterm elections. Now, I want to address as well, I had some comments that, uh, you know, they wouldn't make it to the border in time for the election because that was one of the main theses of my previous video that, yeah, this is going to be right when they hit the border, this is going to be used to, uh, you know, pull on the heartstrings of liberals. With, you know, they're going to uh, pick and choose pictures of like the children being separated from their parents or just children hungry and uh but uh it doesn't look like if they're walking that they'll make it there in time for the the midterms uh they'd be about halfway uh at best if they're walking but don't be surprised if they start shipping them up in buses i mean really i mean there's already been some videos and uh images surfacing of of some of these migrants being loaded loaded into like mac trucks and stuff like that yeah don't be surprised if some of them reach the border by the election and also don't be surprised if they don't reach the border the u.s border by the election well then yeah they're still going to use it they're going to do everything they can to use it against uh you know anti-establishment conservatives that want secure borders um even if they're only halfway there They'll try to use it against us. And don't overestimate the competence of these people either. Some are saying, well, this is actually going to help conservatives in the midterms. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it was intended to. <laughs> I mean, you think you think the hoax media complex and the Democrats are good at doing this anymore? No, they, they fail as well. I mean, they could just be trying and just... They might fail miserably. Let's hope they do. You know, with this propaganda stunt, it's obviously a psyop. It's obviously organized. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below. As always, it's been Press. Keep your head up, stay real, and no fear.